Planet Dolan. Who detected cancer in their balls during a pregnancy test? Can you take a dump in an envelope for science? Here are 15 facts that could save your life. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 15. If a man pisses on a home pregnancy test and the result is positive, he might want to get to the doctor straight away. Pregnancy tests look for elevated levels of beta-human chorionic gonadotropin, which is a hormone related to pregnant women. But when men develop testicular cancer, they can often produce this hormone as well. There are other ways to check in for ball cancer though, such as regular fondling. Oh yeah. Because the pregnancy test is not the most effective method for identifying it. Number 14. If you ever get stabbed, which I hope you don't, there's something critical to remember. Getting shanked would be a pretty unfortunate thing to happen, but if you do find yourself with a knife lodged in your person, don't take the knife or object out. If you remove the knife, you risk bleeding to death before the ambulance arrives. Sometimes the offender takes the knife with them though, so it's best to keep pressure on the wound to avoid a bloody death. Number 13. In the unlikely event of an airplane crash, passengers should be aware of the safety procedures, especially what you need to do with your life vest. If you've ever heard of an airline safety spiel, they tell you not to inflate your safety vest until after you exit the craft. If water enters the crash plane and you inflate your jacket early, you won't be able to swim through the emergency exit and you'll be caught inside the sinking plane. Obviously, this only applies if you're still alive after it crashes. Number 12. Heart attacks can happen at any time, and while you might still be able to spot the symptoms, there is a household drug that could potentially stop a person from dying. Taking aspirin is known to reduce or potentially completely prevent heart attacks by stopping blood clots in the arteries. It is used as a preventative measure, but can also save someone's life if they eat it while they're enduring an attack. While aspirin will help, don't forget to take the injured person straight to the hospital. That part is kind of important. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I was on a totally different track. Number 11. We would hope that no one has to experience this, but if you do find yourself in a car that crashes and sinks into a body of water, there are certain things you should do. Immediately open your car doors as soon as you hit the water. If you don't, the air in the car will pressurize and make it virtually impossible to open it back up. Your next option is to smash a window. If these options fail, you will need to wait for the car to fill up with water until the pressure releases and you can open the doors. Assuming you don't, you know, drown first. Number 10. Okay, so this might not be the most scientifically proven survival tactic, but it, it definitely worked for at least one lucky person. A woman who was once hiking in Colorado found herself confronted by an enormous mountain lion standing 10 feet behind her. She knew not to run, otherwise the cat would attack her. So her tactic was to belt out some classical opera music at the animal. The cat was so confused by the encounter, it backed off and ran away to the bushes. It was like, fuck this shit. Number nine. Sometimes just knowing how technology works can assist in saving a person's life. Most shopping centers, airports, and universities will have escalators. They're incredibly useful inventions. But if someone were to fall on an escalator, would you know how to slam its brakes on? Most people aren't aware, but there is an emergency stop button at both ends of every escalator. The last thing you want to see is someone falling down infinitely moving stairs. Yes, it's funny, but they'll die. Or they'll just be injured. It'll still be funny, but you don't want them to die. Unless it's someone you really don't like, like I'm talking a drug dealer or something like that. In which case, it's just funny. Number 8. Like all machines, cars need regular upkeep. If you don't understand the basic functions of a car, you could literally end up in hot water. Even if you don't understand how cars work, hell I fucking don't. You should at least know what to do if your car overheats. If your radiator light starts blinking when you're driving, then pull over and turn the car off. Do not attempt to open the radiator cap for at least half an hour, otherwise you risk having boiling water explode in your face. Once the engine's cool, you can refill the water and drive to a mechanic. Number 7. Of all the ways you can prevent dying early from cancer, this one is actually kind of fun. 
Once a month, ladies should check their boobs for any changes, including but not limited to lumps, bumps, dimples, pimples, ripples, indents, and swelling. Get yours or a friend's hands and inspect every bit of your lady's chest. Catching breast cancer early can significantly save lives, so if you find your tartars are behaving differently, get a doctor to have a gander. A medical gander, that is. Number six. This fact may not literally save your life, but it damn well might save you a trip to the emergency room. Some genius out there in the depths of the internet came up with a way to prevent smashing your fingers when doing woodwork. You get a clothes peg, you put a nail inside of it, hold it against the wall and hammer away without the worry of destroying your poor phalanges in the process. It's little things that keep you from losing your mind while doing housework. Number five. Claudio Gil Oajo invented the Sitting Rising Test, also known as the SRT. It is designed to indicate how unhealthy people are based on their ability to sit down on a floor and stand up without using their arms or knees. Based on your ability to get up with ease, Oajo suggests this is a massive indicator of your overall health and therefore how much longer you can expect to live. Based on this, I myself will live a very short time. Number 4 we all know the rumor that if a jellyfish stings you, you should take a hot steam and piss on the wound. The fact is though, urine isn't that helpful, if it helps at all. The worst thing you can put on a jellyfish sting is fresh water, and your pee isn't salty enough. That will just agitate the nematocysts into releasing even more venom in your wound. Salt water or vinegar is significantly more effective. You might not have vinegar on you at the seaside, but there should be plenty of seawater. You know, in the sea. Under the sea. Number three. Epileptic fits are pretty scary to watch, let alone endure. If someone starts having a seizure in front of you, remember these things. They usually only last between 60 to 90 seconds. Make sure the space around the person is clear. They might jerk around a lot. Try to lean the person on their side so their saliva doesn't choke them. Don't shove your fingers in their mouth unless you are dislodging vomit. After a fit, people usually have no memory of what happened, so stay and comfort them. People can't help inducing seizures, but you can help them. Number two. Just say there is a zombie apocalypse one day, and you need to save your tall, bulky friend's life. But your friend has fainted. How are you going to get them to safety? Apparently there's an easy way to lift someone who's heavier than you. Sit them up, pull the person's arm over your shoulder, crouch down, with their body pushed against you, thrust your body upwards using your legs. I'm sure it would take some practice, but there's still a little bit of time before the zombie apocalypse starts. Number 1 People who are older than 50 are statistically more likely to contract bowel cancer. In certain countries like Australia, there is a brilliant initiative to screen people for the disease from the comfort of your own home. All you have to do is shit onto a few sheets of paper and then send them via post to the nearest clinic. Millions of stool samples are sent in the mail every day, saving people's lives. Who knew, in the future, we would be shitting in envelopes to detect cancer? Whereas before, where we were just shitting envelopes, just for fun. So guys, do you have a fact that could save our lives? Let us know in the comment section down below, we'll pin our favourite at the top. That is it for this countdown, have a good one!